Welcome to my YouTube channel Sushant Reddy. Every week I present my life lessons in sales, human psychology and wealth creation from an entrepreneur's perspective. In episode 23, I continue my discussion on drive and motivation. For this episode, I have drawn on the ideas presented by Daniel Pink, Mihai Chiksit Mihai, Daniel Kahneman and Jordan Peterson. In the last two episodes, I discussed Professor Harlow's experiments where monkeys solved a puzzle without any incentive or external motivation. We said that our society largely works on external motivation i.e. motivation that is sustained by an external incentive or reward. But we also said that for non-status quo tasks where outcomes are significantly different from regular outcomes, source of motivation is internal and not external. We talked about the MAP framework. MAP stands for mastery, autonomy and purpose. Last episode, we discussed the properties of mastery. Skill is asymptotic to mastery. You can get close to mastery but never achieve it completely. We touched upon Mihai Chiksit Mihai's state of flow where skill just about matches challenge. Such a condition is ideal to sustain the internal motivation to master the skill. We also spoke about the Dunning-Kruger effect where the more we know the more we understand how little we know. So in this episode we'll talk about the other two sources of internal motivation i.e. autonomy and purpose. Let's first take autonomy. I always used to confuse myself that being autonomous is not being answerable to anyone or not taking orders from anyone. In fact, one of my biggest reasons for taking entrepreneurship was this idea of being my own boss. In hindsight, with more than 10 years of entrepreneurial experience, I can safely say that this is a very wrong idea. In fact, as an entrepreneur, you're 10 times more answerable to your investors, clients, employees, tax and regulatory authorities and so on. At least in a job, you're only answerable to your reporting manager or your immediate boss. So what exactly is autonomy? Autonomy in my book is simply having a freedom of choice. Freedom of what, when, how and with whom. Freedom of what is the universe of things you want to devote yourself to and the principles and values that you live by. Freedom of when is how you allocate your time on the things that matter. Freedom of whom is the ability to choose work and life partners who help you grow and share the same values as you do. Freedom of how is the path that you choose to implement or execute what matters. None of these are absolute freedoms. It's important to realize that we don't live in a utopic world. There are always some trade-offs, but trade-off is not a compromise. If you are heavily compromised on your freedom of choice, you are just not autonomous. Why is autonomy a worthy pursuit? Autonomy in itself is not valuable, but it is worthy because autonomy helps in furthering the other two sources, i.e. mastery and purpose. Without autonomy, it is very unlikely that you can pursue a path to mastery or you can live a life with purpose. That takes us to our last and in my opinion the most powerful driver of internal motivation which is purpose. Now purpose has materialistic, philosophical and spiritual dimensions. Since we are focused only on the entrepreneurial aspect of things, let's just stick to the materialistic dimension. I like simple definitions when things are explained in a very easy and intuitive manner. I see people quoting Aristotle, Plato, Cicero and other philosophers when defining purpose. This kind of makes it theoretical and something I can't relate to. Purpose to me is just having a meaning for life. And meaning is a function of the goals that you value and pursue. Purpose is having goals that you value, goals that push your individual limits, goals that you can clearly influence and are tractable, goals that can be measured continuously and above all 
goals that you clearly associate with. If you're able to list such goals and consistently work towards attaining them, you're living a life of purpose. So the four metrics that are important from the perspective of purpose are, is the goal pushing my individual limits? Is the goal something I can clearly control and influence? Can this goal be measured continuously? And is this a goal that I clearly associate with? If the answer for these four questions is a yes, then you have a very definitive purpose in life. So the next time you're confused of whether what you're doing is your purpose or not, you could possibly measure on these four metrics. To summarize, if you effectively build a map you will access the deep reservoir of motivation that never exhausts. The more you access this internal motivation, the more it replenishes itself. And that is what drives us to do great things. Thanks for watching. For weekly videos, you can subscribe to my channel or to my newsletter on sushantreddy.com. Until next time, goodbye and stay safe.